ओके फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्पोर रिलेशन एंड हाउ एंडोस्पोर इज फॉर्म्ड इन अ बैक्टीरियल सेल एंड व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस एंडोस्पोर्स ओके नाउ वी विल सी एन एनिमेशन एंड बाय लुकिंग एट इट वी विल डिस्क्राइब ऑल दोस डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस दैट वी हैव जस्ट आस्क्ड when start for nutrient uh, conditions certain gram positive genera including some important pathogens can develop dormant heat resistant uh, spores most of our knowledge of bacterial sporulation comes from the gram positive soil bacterium bacillus subtilis when growing in rich medium this microbe undergoes normal vegetative growth uh, can also replicate every 30 to 60 minutes that is the normal vegetative growth of this bacteria but this bacterium can produce spore in contrast starvation inspires sporulation and elaborate 8 hour genetic program that ultimately yields a spore sporulation can be divided into eight morphological stages now first stage 0 represents the point at which the vegetative cell decides to use one of two potential polar division sites to begin septum formation instead of the central division site that is usually used for vegetative cell growth now stage 1 involves the replication and stretching out of the dna into a long axial filament structure that spans uh, the length of the cell now in this case i must uh, tell you something some important part and the topic here is as you can see here to make this uh, axial filament uh, there are different types of proteins are actually involved normally two proteins are involved one is rec uh, protein there is uh, called rec a protein and another protein is present in this terminal region so rec a protein another one is div 4 div 4a so these are two different proteins which are involved to make uh, this uh, uh, this interaction uh, uh, of uh, this ex to make this axial filament so uh, only after the uh, nucleus is uh, start to make a much more amount of dna when the, when the dna is duplicated itself then those dna uh, are having the rec a protein surrounding and we are having this div 4a proteins just present at the polar side like this so let me change the color now so these are the polar side so you can look now this polar side will fill with those div 4a protein so this polar side will fill with this div 4a protein and there are rec proteins which are which is surrounding this dna uh, in overall regions like this so so these are the blue colored rec protein now this there is an interaction between this rec protein along with this div 4a protein now this interaction will help this <coughs> newly formed a uh, dna uh, to interact with that pole and to stretch the dna in is horizontally like that uh, to make what is called an axial filament so that's how the axial filament is made a, a, in inside here like that okay uh, okay now let's move on Ultimately one of the polar division sites wins out and the stage 2 uh, separation occurs and septation occurs dividing the cell into two unequal compartments the four spore which will ultimately become the spore and the larger mother cell from which it uh, it is de derived each compartment contains the chromosome Now in stage 3 of sporulation the mother cell membrane engulfs the four spore resulting a structure encycled by two membranes now as you can see here in stage 4 the mother cell chromosome is destroyed and uh, at a co at a cortex uh, ma made with made up with uh, of a a uh, thick peptidoglycan layer is placed between the two membranes surrounding the four spore protoplast okay this cortex will uh, be the important in providing the heat resistant and maintaining the dormancy in the spore okay now what is this dormancy dormancy of four spore is most important part probably because this dormancy is the quality of spore that help the spore to stay uh, for a long time in the environment where the vegetative cell cannot be present for that that much time okay so vegetative cell if we put that into the dangerous environment the harsh environment it will die after some time but if we put spore it can live on that is the ability of the spore that is called the dormancy of the spore 
Now in stage 5, layers of coat proteins are deposited on the outer membrane as you can see here. In stage 6, completes the development of spore resistant to heat and chemical insults. This last stage includes the synthesis of dipicolinic acid in the mother cell and it is uptaken into the core of the spore. Now this dipicolinic acid is important in maintaining the dormancy in uh, promoting spore dehydration. Now this spore dehydration is a characteristic that makes the spore heat resistant. Now, now here come uh, the logical part that uh, why this uh, dipicolinic acid uh, uptake, uptake uh, step and uh, this drying step is really important. Now this dehydration condition is important for making the spore dormant. Now if I want uh, something to be heat resistant that itself have to be dry, right? So if something which is uh, not dry, which is moisture, if we put them into heat it will uh, face different uh, trouble, right? So we need to put something into the uh, so we ne if we need to uh, make something survive in the heat, we must make it dry. This is the first point. So that's why any dehydrated thing have no, uh, definitely not have that much of, uh, damage uh, after uh, placing them into the heat. Uh, instead of those moisture condi conditions. Okay, so we are placing it into the heat uh, only after making it drying. So dehydration condition okay, uh, that is really important. Okay. Now, uh, in stage 7, the mother cell uh, uh, called the sporangium releases the mature spore into the environment. Okay. Spores are resistant to many environmental stress that, uh, that would kill the vegetative cell. The nature of the resistance is due to the part of spores having only the 10 to 30 percent of the vegetative cell's water content. But spores also contain small acid soluble proteins that bind uh, to and protect DNA from damage by ultraviolet light and various toxic chemicals that can change or alter the DNA segment or uh, can cause mutations. Now fully mature spore can exit in soil for at least 50 to 100 years and have been known to last thousands of years. So that is uh, the dom dominant position of a spore. Now once po proper nutrient condition arise, another genetic program called the germination is triggered to wake the dormant cell, dissolve the spore cortex and coat and release a rehydrated vegetative cell outside the environment. That's how sporulation is taking place and this sporulation is actually help the cell to, to remain in the environment for a long time uh, to make uh, to, it, it will increase the opportunity of surviving for bacterial cells. Okay, so only when uh, uh, the right condition return uh, the spore will go and produce, uh, go, the spore will germinate and produce the vegetative cell and then vegetative cell can take on its own, uh, its normal course, it, it will go and divide into uh, the normal daughter cells. So that's it and I hope that's going to help you. Thank you.